All right, back home, another death in Ithaca's homeless encampment known as the jungle is raising concerns about homelessness. Police continue to investigate the death of a man in a fire earlier this week. WENY's Tanja Reiki spoke with a man's close friend who's been working diligently to stop homelessness. Tanja? We're not in Scott. It's with a heavy heart. Carmen Giedi says goodbye to his dear friend Rick Sherman, who had plans to help Carmen bring these homeless men inside as temperatures dip. Just a few days ago, Rick Sherman told Carmen Giedi he would help him with his latest project, building cottages for homeless men. They're called Second Wind Cottages, and they'll give men dealing with things like alcohol or drug addictions a second chance at life. Life isn't easy sometimes, and, you know, people deal with life a lot in different ways. You know, some people turn to alcohol, some people turn to drugs, some people turn to eating, some people turn to other things. Life's not easy, and, and um, we have to deal with it the best we can. Sherman lived in Ithaca's homeless camp known as the Jungle on and off for years, regardless of the weather. When you get right down to it, no, they don't want to live like that, no. He has a little Coleman stove in there to keep warm. I imagine he was, you know, sitting or who, taking a nap, I don't know, and Something happened, whether it tipped over or... Police are still investigating what happened. Sherman's tent went up in flames and he was severely burned. An employee from Cayuga Lumber tried to put the fire on his clothing out with snow, but Sherman died Thursday afternoon from his injuries. If this had been here, this is where he would have come. And I think Rick would be alive today. Second Wind Cottages are being built by volunteers. The supplies are being donated. I put a link with information on how you can help give these men a second chance in this story on WENY.com. Tangerakey, WENY News.